Hello, citizens of the internet, and welcome to the Dad's Guide to Minecraft building tutorial. Today, we're going to be building this super efficient and lossless pumpkin and melon farm. The original design came from Il Mango with some modifications to make this survival friendly for early game play. So if that sounds like a plan, then let's get started. Okay, before we get started, let's take a look at the materials we'll need for this build. We'll need 93 of some structure block. I chose cobblestone, 24 oak logs or any other kind of log, 20 cobblestone stairs or any other kind of structural stair you'd like, 63 of some slab at the top, 48 glass blocks, 29 dirt, a water bucket or source, a redstone torch, 17 pistons, 12 observers, eight redstone dust, two glowstone, a hoe, six pumpkin seeds and melon seeds. Bone meal is an option if you wanna increase the growth rate of the stems. 36 regular rails, eight powered rails, two levers, four blocks of redstone, a hopper mine cart, a hopper, two chests, a redstone comparator, and finally a redstone repeater. So the first thing we're gonna do is make a nine by five structure using our structure block. So starting anywhere, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then we're gonna come over this way five. So we got one there, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna fill the rest of this in. Now that we have the structure made, we're gonna take a couple blocks out. We're gonna take this front corner up here out, and then we're gonna come over here to the back side, count over two, and then come in four and remove four blocks. So we should have these four open. So our structure at this point should look like this. Now coming over to this front corner, we're going to remove these two blocks here, and we're gonna put stone down like that. Next, let's go ahead and grab our hopper and our chest and we're going to put our chest down right here in front of these two blocks like that and then our hopper is going to go facing in this way so crouch and click into the back of the chest that way now let's switch to our logs and we're going to go right next to the chest right here and we're going to come up a total of six so one two three four five six and then we're gonna do one on the exact opposite side right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then coming in from one corner, we're gonna come up six again. And then one more side here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now that we have our base done, let's go ahead and put our rails down. So taking our structure block, we're gonna put it right against this back column here. And this is where the rail line is gonna terminate. So we'll go ahead and put down our powered rail and then we're going to add regular rails coming up like this and where there's a gap here we're going to put down our redstone blocks across like this and this will power our powered rails so we'll put one there and then we'll go back to our regular rails and then come around so we have a, a little u-bend like that then our powered rail and then we're just going to continue this pattern around snaking as we go and rails can be fickle, so if this happens, just break the old one, come across like that, and then make it come around so you don't worry about running into um, it connecting the wrong way. And then you can put down the power rail afterwards like that, and then everything's fine. So you want to you want a pattern that goes like this, and with the U-bends and snakes back around. So we're going to do continue around like this. Okay, and then we got another powered rail here. And then we got regular rails coming back this way. And right here, equal with these other powered rails, we're going to put another power rail down here, skip one with a regular rail, and then finally, the last thing is a powered rail over top of the hopper. So crouch and click when you put that down. So overall, the design for this layer should look like this. Okay, for this next part of the build, we're gonna go ahead and work on the pistons that are several layers above the dirt because it's easier to do that once you um, have this open and you don't have dirt down uh, first. So first thing we're gonna do is go over here and we're gonna add uh, cobblestone blocks or our building blocks up the sides of the logs 
skipping above the rails. And we'll do that on each one of these sides like this, all the way to the top. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab our pistons and we're gonna have our pistons facing down on the second one down from the top. So like right there, and then one on this side as well, right here, like that. And then in between these, we're gonna put our glowstone and we'll do this on this side as well. So we'll put our piston down first, facing down, piston facing down, and then our glowstone block in the middle. Then switching back to our pistons, we're gonna come over to these sides and same thing, we're gonna do a piston, but right here we're gonna use a temporary block of dirt because an observer is gonna go right here. So we'll go back and we'll alternate piston and dirt like this for now, like that. And then where there's dirt, we're gonna go ahead and put a piston facing down. And where there's a piston facing down, we're gonna put dirt. And you'll see the pattern emerge here because in order to put the observers, we have to come from the top and we'll need to have something to put these pistons against. So this is why we're doing it this way. Now we can go ahead and remove the dirt temporary blocks or whatever temporary block you used to um, put in here. So we should have a structure that looks like this. Now let's go ahead and build the structure. So for this, we're going to go ahead and put uh, water sources on both ends. So we'll do our, our upside down stairs coming across like this on both sides, right here. And then right here, we're gonna have a water log stair. So but first, what we're gonna do is put dirt on the inside crossed here like this. And we'll put our stair down back here like that. And then we'll go ahead and put a dirt block here like this. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. So switching back to our stairs, we'll do upside down stairs coming across these two like here, come on the inside, put a stair down facing this direction like that, and then dirt blocks across the front. Then we can go ahead and fill in the dirt blocks for the rest of this across the entire structure. So it should now look like this. Okay, now that we have our pistons and dirt down, let's go ahead and waterlog these stairs on either side. So just click on the stair like that. And we'll come over to the other side and click on this stair like that. And this will hydrate all the soil for the pumpkins to grow. And also make it so when we hoe the, the soil, um, we don't um, have it revert back to dirt. So everywhere, uh, except for the glowstone, where there's an opening, it might be easier to do this from the top up here like this where the observer will go, we wanna till this soil like this. So you should have a nice checker pattern like that. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and alternate the seeds, uh, melon and pumpkin. So we'll do a melon and then we'll do a pumpkin and then a melon and then pumpkin and so on. And optionally at this point, you can use bone meal to make the stalks grow faster at this point. But since we're up here, let's go ahead and put in the observers. So we want the observers facing down. So you want to click towards the, the end of the piston like that. So you get the red activator on this end pointing up. And we're going to do this above each of the plants. Now we're gonna switch back to our structure block and above each of the pistons, we're gonna go ahead and put cobblestone down and above the glowstone as well. So we should have it so the only open areas now are where the observers, activators are pointing up. Now let's switch to our redstone dust and we'll put a piece of redstone dust on each of these activators like this. So you should have a structure that looks like this. Now let's finish off the exterior of the build. So we'll go back to our stairs and we're gonna put upside down stairs going across the front like this. And then we'll have upside down stairs coming across the back as well. Like that. Now let's switch to our glass blocks and our slabs and we'll close in the rest of the structure. So our glass blocks are gonna go starting where the piston is or right above the piston like this. We're going to come down and just add 
glass blocks surrounding the exterior. And we'll do this around every side. Then coming up to the top of the build, we'll go ahead and put in our slabs across the top like this. And I like to leave a little overhang on the corners. So we'll continue this around. Because this farm is super efficient, we're gonna to want to have a device for the minecart to stop and unload. So the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna put a comparator facing in towards the hopper itself. And then right behind the comparator, we're going to put a cobblestone block or other structure block. And then on the back of the structure block, we're going to put a redstone torch like that. And then above the redstone torch, we're gonna to put another structure block like that. And then let's go ahead and build across like this because it'll just be easier to do that and then take out the center block like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and have a repeater facing that direction. So the structure should look like this, the device. You have the hopper with a comparator observing it and then redstone torch coming up here with a redstone repeater going into this block, which powers this rail. So when the comparator detects that there is something in the hopper minecart, it turns off this, this rail right here, stops the hopper minecart, unloads everything. Once it's empty, this turns off, this turns on, and it activates this and sends the hopper minecart away again. So let's go ahead and put down our levers first to activate these two rails that we haven't activated yet. So put a lever there like that. And we'll come over this side here and put a lever down like that. And then we'll launch our minecart from here. So just make sure that it goes around and doesn't stop where it shouldn't stop. And there it goes. It's, it's stopped and it's loading. And we'll watch it as after it's done unloading, it'll start going again. There it goes. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at how much we've gotten so far just in a couple minutes after building this. Yeah, 26 pumpkins and as almost two stacks of melons in a really, really short time. So this is a very efficient farm. And there you have it, a super easy, super efficient, lossless melon and pumpkin farm. If you've enjoyed what you've seen and would like to see more from the Dad's Guide channel, click that subscribe button, press that notification bell so you don't miss an upcoming episode. And if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. It really helps the channel grow. Until next time, bye for now.